Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here, wearing a pair of Google Glass. I'm sure you've heard about it, read about it. Uh, this, this is what it looks like, and they're coming out, they say spring or summer of 2014. What is Google Glass exactly? Well, as you can see, it is a wearable, hands-free computer. At first glance, it looks like a pair of regular eyeglasses. So you've got the frames, but there are no lenses. Now, should you need a prescription uh, lens, of course, you can put that in. But the idea is that you wear this computer on your face and using voice and some touch on this bar on the right hand side on the frame you can control content. These are Wi-Fi enabled uh, uh, glasses so you have access to the internet of course um, and if you're outside you know walking down the street so you're not on one you know Wi-Fi network you would tether it uh, to your your smartphone you create like a personal uh, hotspot and that way you've got online access. So instead of staring at a tablet or a smartphone and you know falling down a manhole or bumping into somebody the idea is that you've got access to online content and other features like a camera hands-free uh, the way it works is you say okay glass followed by one of a, num a number of commands so you can say okay glass take a picture and using that camera that you can probably see in the middle there it'll take a picture or I can say okay glass shoot a video then you can share it you can upload whatever you just uh, shot to your favorite social media site or you can email it. You can dictate a message, a text message. You can see information on this small screen hovered over my right eye, just above uh, to the right of my right eye and see through it. As you can see, uh, it is uh, not quite augmented reality where it's putting digital information on top of the real world, but I can interact and go about my day and see information. I can do a Google search. I can ask for a definition of a word. I can ask to translate a word into another language. I can pull up Google images if I'm looking for a photo of something. You can get directions. I'm here in beautiful New York. I can, uh, I can say, take me to LaGuardia Airport and it'll give me turn-by-turn -turn directions with a map through Google Maps and audio. All right, so audio, you're saying, hey, but Mark, you've got no earbuds. How do you hear anything? Well, this is where it gets pretty cool. This bar is against my skin, and you actually have bone induction technology, so only you can hear what's going on inside your glass if you're playing a song uh, or if you're getting audio directions or hearing uh, how to pronounce a word uh, that you're uh, in another language. So, I mean, if you're standing near somebody, you can kind of hear it, but it's actually going through your bone and into your inner ear, and that's how you hear audio. So uh, a very cool product. It's still pretty early. Only a handful of developers are creating apps for Google Glass at this point. And naturally, there are a number of privacy and security concerns already in San Francisco, where there are a number of developers who have these. Uh, there are some restaurants and, and health clubs and other institutions that don't want Google Glass in there. Some casinos in Atlantic City are saying no Google Glass allowed for obvious reasons. Um, so, you know, we're going to have, just like with any other piece of technology, we're going to have to learn and adapt to it. If this catches on and it becomes you know a mainstream phenomenon much like a smartphone is um, you know uh, and also the price is gonna have to come down you know to the point where it's affordable for the average person before it would catch on in a big way as well but nevertheless it's still very exciting there are some analysts who believe wearable technology like Google Glass can be even bigger than the smartphone uh, so time will tell but it's still a very cool thing to try I uh, hope you've been enjoying some of the videos I've been playing here and that's it I'm Mark Saltzman thanks for watching ciao